Hey everybody, Jesse Kern here, your singing realtor. Welcome home at Keller Williams Legacy Group. And gonna do some market updates for you. First, I have an event, my quarter one 2023 event. I'm doing a masterclass on Zoom. So this one's actually open to whoever, wherever. It's gonna be about real estate investing. My friend, Amy Norman, who's a mindset and manifestation coach that I've known for 21 years. He's going to talk about abundance and prosperity mindset, and then I'm going to do the tactical stuff about real estate investing, anywhere from how much money do you need to get in, using other people's money to buy properties, to finding money that you didn't know that you have. I'm also going to talk about if you want to be really involved or not as involved, so in the whole investing game. If you want information on that, um, message me on social media or text me 515-218-9222. And my assistant and I will get you the Zoom link. It's free and it's online this Thursday, March 16th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Space is limited, I think. I pay for Zoom, so it might be a max out on that. My assistant said we had about 80 people who at least RSVP'd. Um, so anyway, it's an hour and a half and it's free, March 16th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Central. Okay, so this month from February to March, first I want to say, because our February numbers are in, I did attend Keller Williams Family Reunion event. We had like 10 to 12,000 agents um, from all over the world in Anaheim, California last year. It was a little bit warmer than here in Iowa. We got six inches of snow this past Saturday. Anyway, a couple of my takeaways that I want to, that are pertinent to you if you're thinking about buying or selling in the next six, 12 months or whatever. Interest rates currently are around six, 6.25 I've seen the last week. Um, that's historically still very low. Gary Keller pointed out that what we saw in the twos and the threes since 2009 and especially during the pandemic is probably once in a lifetime kind of situation. From 1971 all the way to 2009, rates were historically always above 5%. So for them to be around six, 6.25 is still historically very low. Now it's an adjustment from where we were, yes. However, they kept money, the cost of money, because interest rates basically rent that you're paying the bank to use their money. Um, they keep the rates low because they wanted to keep the economy as strong as possible back in the Great Recession of 08 and so forth, as well as during the pandemic. Now that things have normalized and appreciation was going through the roof and inflation, they had to raise the rates to normalize the economy and prevent um, that accelerated appreciation. So, and speaking about appreciation, when you look at the 50 year history, home prices go up in value on average 4%. That's a national average. Well, even with all the accelerated appreciation in the last two, three years, that curve is basically at 4% when you look at the 50 years. So basically, um, with all the accelerated appreciation, we have made up for the dip that the Great Recession um, cost. So even though these prices seem high year over year for the last 50 years, it's still in alignment with 4% increase per year. So when's the best time to buy a house? When's the best time to plant a tree? 20 years ago. If you buy a property and hold on to it, you're going to see appreciation. And that's the beauty of investing that I'm going to talk about um, on Thursday. You pay the mortgage down and the appreciation goes up. So your net worth increases over time. Okay, so specifically Polk and Dallas counties from February 2023 to, excuse me, January to February. This is March today. So from January to February, a few things I want to point out in Polk County. The number of withdrawn canceled listings came down 45%. So more sellers are staying on the market in February than they did in January. Days on market went up by almost 10%. And absorption pricing went up. 133 percent so in january we had 1.3 months of inventory in polk county in february we have three months of inventory still a seller's market what that means is more inventory is coming on the market spring is a great time to buy and sell spring is sprung however for sellers there's more competition you've got more sellers on the market so even though more buyers come out um, you have more competition as a seller and obviously buyers you're in more competition with other buyers so that's Polk County. What I want to point out in Dallas County, um, oh, and the other thing, Polk County, active number of inventory stayed exactly the same, <laughs> 1152 for both months, which is rare. Um, 
zero percent change so dallas county we've got things i want to talk about active sold prices actually went down 10 percent um, 412,000 down to 370 average price sold in Dallas from January to February. Probably the reason for that is the fact that probably had new construction that was finishing being built that finally closed in January. Didn't have as much of that close in February because of the downturn in the fall in November, December, especially. So resale prices, new construction is generally higher to get into new constructions around 300 ish. Um, so that went down. That's probably just an anomaly. <clears throat> and then the other thing I want to point out, Dallas County absorption pricing index, meaning the months of inventory went down from almost nine months of inventory, which is a buyer's market down to 5.6 months of inventory, which is more balanced. So that's showing that the market's heating up. My friends who list new construction, um, are saying that it's starting to improve and get better. All right. So a little story to tell you, I was holding some Kimberly developments open for my friend Ryan this past Sunday and an agent came through showing his clients and he said that he was in a multiple offer situation with seven offers on a $500,000 house that weekend or the previous week. That's huge. 500,000 is almost luxury in this price point in this market. Um, so that's telling us spring is heating up. And I have um, two, maybe three offers to present to one of my condo um, sellers this afternoon, so we have multiple offer situation on a listing that I have here on the south side. Okay, so overall, Polk and Dallas counties together, um, active inventory went down 1%, not a big change there. Number of pendings went down by 0.1%, no huge change there. The number of solds went up 14%, so market is heating up. The number of expireds went up 25%. Um, so property's got to be priced right. Even though this is a softer seller's market, it's still a seller's market and you still have to be priced right to sell. Days on market went up 21% from January to February. So we are seeing a little bit longer days on market. Um, let's see what that average was. In Polk County, it's 57. So 137 divided by two. My assistant needs to do that math. Days on market was about 74 average, and that includes um, that includes new construction, which is always longer days on market. Absorption pricing index went down 16%, meaning January we had five months of inventory, February we have four months of inventory. So that's um, you're going to be in a softer seller's market if you're resell. If you're new construction, you're going to be in a balanced market right now. And the average sold price went down almost 6%. So that's probably an anomaly, but that is that is showing that um, prices are balancing out with the interest rates. So what does up. all this data mean for you? So if you're thinking of selling, now's a great time to sell. You can beat the competition if you get on the market sooner than later. They might be raising rates again another two times this month, I've read. So what it means for you as a buyer is um, rates are still historically low. They've gone down some since last fall. You can refinance if they do go down after you purchase. And I would say get in the game sooner than later, depending on what your plans are. And if you are a seller and you're thinking about it and it's months out, call me now. I can help you decide what to repair and what not to repair. So you're putting your money in the right place as you get the property ready. And if you're a buyer thinking about it, let's have that strategy session as well to get you ready to get in a new home this year. Have a great day.